Painting is the number one do-it-yourself job, and why wouldn't it be? It's fast, almost anybody can do it, doesn't require many special tools, and for 20 bucks, you can give a boring room a brand new look. Now, while it's easy to do, I'm here to give you 10 tips in two minutes so that you can do this job with a lot less mess. Let's go. Take some masking tape, lay it right along the baseboard like this. Now here's the secret tip. Take a wallpaper smoother and just slip the tape underneath the baseboard, just like this. That makes sure that you don't get any paint dripping along the carpet line and the baseboard. Once you got her taped, use a canvas drop cloth. Just lay it right on top of the tape, spread her out. These don't move around like plastic does, and you're much less likely to crack wet paint throughout the room. Take a putty knife to seal this edge. That way you don't get any paint seeping underneath the tape. Leave a lip, any paint drops are gonna catch right there. Use the lid of a five gallon bucket as a mini workstation. And when you're done, you can just rinse it off. So here's tip number four. Latex paint, synthetic brush, oil paint, natural bristle brush. You try to use a natural bristle brush with latex paint, this is what you get. Suspend the door between two sawhorses with bolts. One bolt at that end, two bolts at this end, and when it's time to flip the door, it's just that easy and you can keep working. Tip number six, work like the pros do. Use a five gallon bucket, a roller screen to get rid of excess paint, and one of these, a long handle so you keep your feet on the ground. Don't clean your rollers. Put them in a tennis ball can or potato chip can, and you're set. How am I doing on time? Really? Uh, okay, uh, tip number eight. If you're using oil-based paint, you can save your roller and your brush overnight by wrapping them in tin foil and keeping them in the freezer. Gotta go. Once you have gotten most of the paint out of your roller, use one of these, spinner. That gets the remainder of the paint and water out of the roller, fluffs it up, and prevents that kind of crusty roller thing that can happen bad. You hate using mineral spirits to get oil-based paint off your hands or brushes or rollers. Tip number 10, use this handy substitute. Vegetable oil. May take a little longer to get the job done, but you'll get her done. There, I made it. Now, we got a fresh, New look with a lot less mess. For 10 tips in two minutes, we'll see you next time. We gotta walk this off. You still here? Hey, good. This is a secret bonus tip. Once you've uh, cleaned out your brush, here's a great way to store it. Wrap it in a paper towel like this. Put a rubber binder around it. That'll keep it nice and clean and the bristles will stay straight little extra value added.